Now I'm going to flip this one over to the raw side and we're going to add glue all the way down to the bottom. The entire piece. You want it all to catch. Make one solid thick piece. Putting raw end to raw end. Lining it up. Putting them together. Since we're using wet glue, gives you time to move it. See how that one wasn't lined up? Perfect. Yes. Alright. Give me a little bit more time. Moving on both sides. There we go. So now I'm going to rebend the way it needs to be bent. There we go. Ta da! Isn't that cute? All right, so now that we got both of them, we need to add that to our sides here. This is the raw side. Of course, this is the pretty side. We're going to put raw side to raw side. There is a line here, a score line. We're not going to score that as of yet. All right, so starting on this end, not the curved end, we're going to add it here up to that score line. Do not go over the score line. You got to make sure it can still bend, right? So I'm going to put glue here. No, I stitch out there just the bargain. So we're going to add the glue right here, match them up, make sure everything stays lined up. And I'm turning it over to make sure it lines up and not going over. Steel's bends, perfect. The reason we're doing raw side, well, both of them are not raw side because I did double. If you're doing one strip, one you know, not double, but one um, layer, you want to put the raw side to raw side, okay? All right, so let's do the other side. While that one is drying, we're going to do the same thing. Oh, well, it don't matter. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, no, I put it on the wrong thing. No, I didn't. It's just I'm used to putting it on this one. All right, so raw side to raw side, that's what you're going to be adding here not going over the score line. Make sure everything matches up. And I turn it over so I can see on this side. Make sure everything is even. That makes a difference and it folds, okay. And I know y'all can see how it, how it curves downward because it needs to do that, okay? For when we start installing it. All right, so now that we got those on, we're going to sit it to the side. Now, let's work on the top. All right, I've already got these adhered. I showed y'all what the die looked like. And I've bent down these sides here. Okay? These little points had score marks. All you're doing is folding them down. This and this is the front. That threw me off the first time I did it. And I cut my design paper incorrectly here it is i was like oh yeah that's pretty you see how this is really not a circle it's kind of like a oblong circle kind of it's kind of ovalish round <laughs> and so i was like oh yeah that's that's perfect and then when i start putting because that is a perfect little centerpiece for your top i put it this way so that fits perfectly that way i know y'all can see that right yeah that's not how the sides go on, okay? So these are the sides because they attach, remember? This is how it looks. So, hey babe, what's up? Sorry guys. Hey. Let me kiss. Hold on guys. Love you. Be careful. Um, so, you have to be careful when you're cutting out the um, 
design piece on top. All right, I had to get me some coffee. All right, so I made that mistake with this first one round. I had to cut out again. I'm not going to let this beautiful flower <laughs> go to waste. It's going on something, guys, right? So I put it to the side. Just to remind you, this is the front. These tabs, one is the front, one is the back. These are the sides. So your ovalish, oblong circle, I did this this time I did it right this time let me put it on top so y'all can see there are lines like a um, uh, score line around it see how that fits on there now and I'm still not straight okay there we go that's how it should be there are let me show you matter of fact since we're talking about it Y'all can see these little line, these little uh, divots. There are four divots on each corner. That's how you line up your paper. Okay. Here is this die here that cut out that design. Look at the divots on it. Okay. This has two. One on the outside. All four sides, or you no know, sides, but you know what I mean. Four, and then there's divots as well. This way, you're able to line up your image. When you put these two together, look how the divots go in. Can y'all see that? Perfect. I love how they did that. Also helps with if you want to cut. Oh, if you want to cut out this, which says, what does this say? This says a little something just just for you. That's what this says. So if you want to cut out that and put it on the top of here, it has those divots as well. You can see the divots on there. So you would line it up. Let me make sure I get it right. Don't look like I got it right. Do I? Let me see. Let's turn it this way. Oh, no. Yep, the way I had it, can y'all see now? That it's not a full circle. When I turn this around, because you would think this is the front, that is the side, why would it not read this way? So I don't know what's up with that. It's lining up this way. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> no, that ain't it either. That's not lining up. It's lining up this way. Wow, why did it do that? Huh. Because this is the front, this is the front, that's the sides. Why is it reading sideways? That's weird. Listen, I haven't cut with that one yet, but I'm just seeing that. Why would it cut that way? Let me put this back on here. Yeah, that, that's kind of weird. I have not cut out with that yet, but I'm on, I will, and I'm going to see. Because that is lining up that way. It shouldn't be lining up that way. Even on this picture here, let's look. Oh, it is sideways. This is the front, guys, of this here. These are the sides. It is lining up that way. Oh, I've got a delivery. Thank you. Um... It is sideways. Hmm, Tonic, what's going on with that? So that will have to be sideways if you put that on. All right, so let's go ahead and add this to the top. And um, I love this paper pad also because you can see it is double-sided on the other side. So like, you can use either side. Both sides are beautiful. Listen, I love my Tonic uh, glue. I know about that. That's a lot of glue. Yes, it is. I love to use it. So what I'm doing is lining it up. There is like a little beveled edge that you can line it up to. That's, that's been imprinted on it when you cut it out. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, I like that. Once you commit, just go ahead and get it down, right? Mm 
Okay. So I got that on top and then I decided with this one, let's cut out the beautiful paper. Remember I told you about this paper, this beautiful blue on top of here. Add it on top. You can still see the uh, brown, well, tan through it, but also the image is still in the center. I'm trying to get it lined up. Y'all can see I'm moving it around. Look how pretty that is. I love that sheen on there. So what I did was I took the circle here, the second one in, and this one, and lined them together. Use some of my um, score tape, not score tape, um, washi tape to adhere them together so they wouldn't shift. And then I cut it out, ran it through. Many of us know how to do inlays, right? All right, so let's add this on. And I gotta make sure I, I get it right there on the um, lined up correctly. Because this is not a circle. I keep saying that so y'all can understand. It is not a circle. It's like an oblong circle. I don't need too much. Just, just wanna make sure it adheres down and stays. So I just put a little glue around the outside, the inside, and then on each little center. And let me get it lined up. Hopefully that's it. Let's see. Let's turn a little bit more. Come on, baby. Yes. Yes. Love it. All right. Like it moving just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. All right. This is so pretty. And it doesn't take long to put together, guys. It really doesn't. I love that little blue that's on there. It just makes it pop, doesn't it? Beautiful. All right. So now let's do the other side of this um, latch that we're going to put on the top. So they can be drying. That's the reason I'm saying it. Okay. We want that dry while the other part is um, sealing up. I'm using Tonic Studios magnets. These are the, uh, what are they? 15 millimeter. Item number 3062E. Okay. I'm taking one. The other one has already been attached. I don't know what side I want to go on top. Hmm. I kind of like, I'm right-handed, so I like to go like that. So I wanted to make sure that is the right way I want it to go because this one's going to go on top. They also come with the adhesive part. So you just take off this backing and line it up. It'll stick to your magnet. Pressing it down so it can adhere and then pulling off, there is adhesive there. Okay, put these up. And it comes with 12 pieces, so six pairs. So now what I'm going to do is take... This glue is getting on my nerve. <laughs> take the one that is going to go on top, and I'm attaching it to the top here. Circle, make sure those circles are directly on top of each other. Okay. So now I'm transferring. Booyah. I'm going to hear it a little bit more. Now I'm going to add glue around. And there is a score line on here, but we're not doing that until the pieces are attached. So they both go the same way, right? So now we're going to do... Ooh, almost did raw side. That make sure the pretty side is on the outside because when you open it, you'll see it. And we're attaching. These are so thin that it remains really flat. I love that. Absolutely love these um, magnets. These are the same ones I use for when I'm making um, mini albums. Basically anything with a magnet, I use um, tonics because they're so thin. Look at that. It's like you don't see nothing in there, right? All right. Now that that's glued, 
I'm going to do it again. Make sure that I got the right side because if you do the wrong side, it's going to repel. And y'all see that? It's not even lining up. Do the right side. Boom, y'all. Right on top. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is add... I cut out this piece as a little bit more decoration to add on it to match the top. And just to make sure all these colors are coming together, right? This is such a cute die set. Let me make sure I got that edge. All right. So what I did was add it just above. It has a little curvature. And you don't want it to go over the um, score line. I'm trying to get it a little bit over. It fits just right on here. All right. Make sure I got enough room. There we go. I just take my little paper towel. You know it dries clear. I just don't want it over saturated, right? All right, so there we go with that. Perfectly on top of each other. Now we're going to do the score line. Now you can see both of them. All right, now I also have, let's put that to the side for a moment. Now let's go ahead and I'm trying to see these right here. I haven't decided how I'm going to do the tops or this side. Oh, where's my other one? I should have two of these. Did I forget to cut out two? Probably. Well, that sucks. I need to cut out another one because I don't think. Oh, there it is. Yay! I cut it out. Okay. Because I don't know which side I want to do. So I kept both colors or three colors. All right. Back to this one. This is the back, so let me go to the front. I like to... We can take these off now. I'm pretty sure they're dry. So now we're back to this concoction. So what we need to do, I like to have this glued down on the right side. I'm right-handed. That's what I do. I want this to be open this way. Remember how I did this? Let's move this to the side. This side open freely, right? I had the other one glued down. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. All right. But I think we'll see because I don't want to mess it up. All right. So the first thing we do with this, we go in through this hole, pull it all the way to that score line. Everybody, come on. All right. You pull it all the way up like that to that score line. You fold it over like that, right? I like to glue it. Make sure before I do it. I think it needs to go in another time. Make sure. Yeah. All right. So once we go up one time, let's do this first. I think I'm going to use these. I'm going to glue the black to the blue. Let's do that. The reason I'm doubling it, you only need two, but I'm doubling it because this is what's going to be moving, right? So I'm going to, I should have went on ahead and did these together. I'm doing one with the black color and one with the uh, blue. So first of all, you don't see that um, white on the back and it makes it more sturdy and durable when messing with the closure. Even though I'm going to um, glue these down. I'm trying to think, am I gluing down both sides? We'll see. Because sometimes you have to put it together and, f and see if you really need to put glue it down. Can I still open it with it glued down? We're going to see. 
because you got to be able to get in it. All right, so I put those two together and I got both pretty sides out. Okay. Oh, baby. All right, there we go. All right, so now remember we th we th threaded it through one time. Now we need to add this buckle. I think I'm going to do this way. Thread that through so that we can attach it to the buck to the basket, the hamper. And so what I like to do make sure it is even and make sure I got enough room because I think I need to go through twice all right there will be enough room but I pulled it through now I'm going to add a little glue I'm adding the glue really I'm adding the glue to this piece here just this piece Uh, and the glue is jammed up. I keep leaving it off, putting it on. So, there we go. All right. So, as long as you got that little belt on, the little buckle, I mean, now we're only doing this first little cube here. Don't go over the score line. So, now I'm going to pull it down and line it up. Make sure that it is lined up. There we go. We don't want it to lock down like that. Even. You see that? And I am pulling it tight so that it will um, go back in. I'll hold that down for a second. And this is in the middle. Perfect. Yes. All right. So now we're going to feed it through again, this hole, pull it out from the inside. Beautiful. And I'm going to feed it through again. Double looping. That's really like securing it down. See, I'm going to put glue on this, this one. Making sure not to go over the score line. And I got it tight and lined up with the previous one that we did. So it's not offset. It's directly on top of each other. That's securing that piece down. This is so cute. All right. Now we're going to tuck this last little piece in. And we're going to glue it on the inside. See how it is there? It's sticking out. Take this glue. Got a little glue on there. And I'm going to pull it straight up and secure it. And just hold it for a second. y'all see hopefully y'all can see that there it's down this is not going anywhere right beautiful it's gonna be on this side oh that turned out so nice now i like to add one of these this came excuse me this came on the kit in the kit as well is this one here for your decoration you want pattern paper or solid if you like gold whatever so I cut it out make sure I got it going the right direction yep because remember it's directional I do see words on there so that fits perfectly there I was adding it before um, doing it but then when I didn't pull it tight enough um, on there it would get kind of off so I decided to start doing it afterwards because then you can line it up to be centered y'all know how we do that we like to add it on just like we did at the beginning adding the front and side panels 
but once you do this one, sometimes you could be off a little bit from pulling and not getting right at the score line. So when I had already had it on there, it was kind of up a little bit. So I will start decided to wait till after I got it adhered down. So isn't that cute? Absolutely adorable. All right. So for this side, we're supposed to do the exact same thing, except I think I'm going to wait a moment. Let me see how I'm going to connect it, guys. All right. So, let's see, do I need to open that? I'm going to feed it through. Let's test it out. We go in, right? And we go up. I'm not gluing, I'm testing. So if I glue this down, oh, let me put this piece on. Okay. I'm actually not gluing it down. I'm just seeing how I want to do it if if it can be glued all the way down. That would be great if I if I'm able to lift it up. So you see how I went through again the hole. Now let's do it again. We're going through this latch here, the slit. See how it's coming out? 